Hello everybody, my name is Farm Man and welcome back to episode 2 of our Let's Play on Alving and Farm. We are joined by James and Stu. Hello. Hello. Joe's still not here because it's still Saturday. Um, so we're in the biggest arable field there is. Um, as you can see it is a fair, fair size. Now we've uh, took Joe's tractor off temporarily for now to stop the log, like, pretty much freaking out. Um, and yeah, we're going to get this field done today. So we've got James on his plough again and Stu ploughing because he wanted a change. And I am now on the cultivator. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. And as you can hear, peace and quiet within the Discord. Um, I've managed to move everybody and sort everybody out so they're not in here. Righty-ho. Now I'm not going to make you sit through all of this as I do it, but James, why have you still got your lights on? Can't see anything. What? In daytime? Yeah, it's really dark for me. You'll have to do what I did, which is leave and rejoin. That's it, James. Just leave your tractor right there. Sorry. Right, so once these fields are done, we uh, should get the cedars out, which we will do. Um, we're going to plant barley for now. Just let this sink happen. There we go. So we're going to plant barley in... Should we plant barley in both these fields for now? Yeah, because yeah. we need to throw. Has it fixed it, James? Yep. Bill, <laughs> Come a drink. So unorganised, aren't Yes, you are. Very unorganised. Now, of course, this cultivator is five meters. What are the plows? Are they like two points something working with? Uh, something like that. So, I can keep up. This is how you can keep up with two plows in, you know, like this. I, might, I could actually outrun these plows, which is the problem. So, we might have to keep stopping and starting every so often. Um, but if we do, we'll go for a look around the map. Um, and just I'll show you where everything is we've also got there's probably going to be a load of chicken eggs down so I'll probably go pick them up actually righty ho um, we aren't going to record too many more of these because we don't want to go too far ahead of without Joe being gone um, so we'll probably do a couple more Now the one nice thing about this cultivator I have found is when you lift it up it all it's not actually fixed it's all, it's all individual and when you raise it it all moves it's all individual none of it's actually hmm it's not a fixed yeah It needs a manlier horn. Oh. So, we're actually making quite good progress already. Um, as you can see, when there is quite a lot of you on, well, I know there's only three of us, but when there's when there's, the next is four of us on, it'll it'll go even faster like doing the arable stuff um, right. so we'll probably I 
I'll probably cut this bit of the video out and we'll probably be back we're rather at the end or very close to being finished so we'll be back in a minute and we are back so we've got a pass well about I'd say about two passes left um, the planning is done cultivating is still ongoing as you can see everyone's back at the yard getting the cedars on I didn't bother bringing it back halfway through the field because um, well one you've already seen in episode two in episode one and uh, two it, it's just the same old same old so I thought we'll just skip all of it out saves time for you lot you don't come here to watch me going up and down a field with a cultivator so there's not a lot to this map is there <laughs> no that's why I like it the now what what we well. might do is go we'll probably go for a drive whilst them two are, uh, are seeding We'll go have a look around the map because I want to show that off. And then we want to get some animals, but we don't want any animals till we've got the hay, silage, and straw all in and ready to go. Um, yeah, cows are cheapest to buy at the start of summer and sheep are at the start of autumn. What, do the prices differ? Yeah. Yep. When are they cheapest? Uh, cows are cheapest at the start of summer, which we won't be ready for, so we'll have to wait till next season. And sheep are cheapest at the start of autumn, but we might be able to get sheep. Hmm. What star map did you use? Map one. A map called Map. It's called Map and then underscore dirt and something else. Because I can't get this PDA to work. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if, as long as there's a P, there is a PDA. It's just Goldcrest, but the numbers are still in the places they're supposed to be. It's the fields. Give you an invisible PDA. It's the ma It's the fields that I was concerned about because they actually stop you playing the game. Yeah, they work now. So I'll upload it once I've uploaded Joe's case. Wait, Joe's case is on thirty something. Right, so we're coming back in the yard. Ooh. We've also bought a pressure washer, as you can see, all the tractors are now mega clean. Well, them two are, anyway. We're going to plant barley in both fields to start with, because we need the str we're going to need straw like it's going out of fashion. Come on, lock round, you bugger. There won't be pigs on that map. Please see him for the point up. What, fuel? No, it's, it's seed. just come out of this yard and go, go the way I'm facing, so round that corner to your left. You'll see it behind the big tanks. Oh yeah. Right, we'll go have a drive to the uh, horse yard, so we'll go through the village. So we'll go this way. So this is where the cow field like sort of comes to the end is at this wall. Um, there's another grass field. This way is through the very narrow village, and this way we won't be taking the combine because it is an absolute bugger round here. This corner here, I mean, I have took a combine this way and it was super tight. Uh, I can't remember which one it was now, some, some other one. Um, as you can see, this is the field that I always like cutting, and it's this one beside yeah. the pub. Um, we might we might put some older tractors on like a major and some grey and golds or something to do this field with. Um, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, both fields barley, James. XL point at the pub, fuel point there. This is the bit I was on about at the church. As you can see, I've normally what would happen is where that hedge line sort of curves, that would have been all trees there, so the field was straight, so you didn't get this little weird area, but I thought it's not too much of a problem to mow. So you keep coming around here, you'll end up just going straight kind of into the horse yard. Go through there. And it's just to this, it's just to your right. So there's the chickens and the bell cell point is here. But as you can see, I've put a different water plane in. Um, I think this one looks a lot better. I mean, I know it's not actually a flowing, like, river or anything like that, but I, I like the look of the clear 
water. That John Deere is absolutely a beast. So the destroy point is in here. Eggs all spawn here. They all spawn correctly. Um, so we'll sell these as well. Right, so that's it. So that's for this end of the thing. We'll turn around and go the other way. So yeah, there isn't a lot to this map. It is very, very small. Um, Minimalistic. What? Minimalistic. That's it. Uh, it com yeah, compared to your map, well, it's yeah. like, compared to your map, it's like an American map. Churches there. There's nothing at the church, but it's just there for decoration or detail. Coming around the corner, around this corner. Whoa, that lag is insane. That nearly ended me up crashing. In here is the sheep field with the straw point and the buy point for the sheep is in there as well. Quite a nice little field. Um, again, another grass field. Now, some of these, I know we've got quite a few grass fields, but what I was thinking was if we ever needed to, which I, I highly doubt we ever will need to, but if we needed to, we could cultivate or plow these up and make them arable fields but I highly doubt we'll need to this is the shop um, so you you come in here and turn through the automatic gates um, wool sell point is just over there um, it's got the place to change you know the uh, customized point you can also get your stuff outside and this is where we're gonna sell our grain as well there's only one sell point and it's just in there so that's it, there's not a lot I hear. And there's James and Stu. Um, as you can see, I put a bit of mud in them, laybys and stuff. Another grass field there. Up the big hill. As you can see, it's just a circle. It is like the original Alvingham, just it's been made smaller, a lot smaller. Um, now, all these hedges I had to individually place because Chris7710 liked to paint his down and I don't know how to use the spline system so I just paint, I just literally put them all down um, that was about a day's work and so yeah so that's another that's another grass field that we own this one here and I think we own yeah we own this grass field here this grass field to our left and field 9 um, which is that very small grass field right beside the pub that's all we own and that's it. So that's it for the map. Um, nothing to it at all. We'll let you two you get it on with that, aren't you? You both planting barley? Yeah. yeah. It's when they realise one planting barley and one's Yeah, or corn or something. Maize. Right, so we will get the sprayer on. We'll wait for that field to be done, then we'll get the... We'll well, we can load the sprayer up anyway. You have to take the sheet off it manually, don't you? Uh, I think you have to be connected to the tractor to take it off. If I tried, it was just set. Hmm. I'm actually quite enjoying this, to be honest. Open cover, and Ah, oh, there we go. You press N. Right, we'll fill it up, and then we'll get the sprayers going. I just hit the I hit the point like I was pressing R then to fill it up and it didn't work and I was thinking oh no please no right so we'll wait for them to be finished and then we'll get the spraying going so we'll BRBs until they are done now it is a manual sprayer as well like you have to manually open all the booms and everything is it the one we used on West End? No, it's a smaller version. This one only holds 400. Smaller? This one's only 400 litres, the other one's 6. So, oh, oh, oh we won't be RBs then, we'll just... Uh, we might as well just get this un unfolded now.
Right, so we'll do this field and that'll do, because we're only on 50 minutes, so... This should, it'll be enough of a video, I suppose. Um, and yeah, we'll get the crops in. Um, we'll, this, we'll probably, we will probably won't record any more today, but we might fast forward a bit of time and get... Because there's not a lot else to do now, in spring, once this is done. Um... To fertilize. There, there is the grass fields, but there's not many of them, so I suppose we can get the roller on it, can't we? Yeah. So yeah, that we might come back for that, or we might just do that off screen. I'm not too sure, but um, but yeah, so we'll have to see. Now, I forgot to mention this in episode 1, and I always mention it. This map is private, and we are not trading. Um, there's someone in our Discord called Alfie, who is also doing a convert. He might trade his, I'm not too sure. But if you see that one going around, it's not ours. So, if you get your hopes up, that it, if he trades it with you, and you get your hopes up thinking it's ours, or he claims that it's ours, it's it's not. So... It's not got seasons on it time. won't have seasons, and we'll probably we'll probably edit this one a little bit different as well. I don't like editing Chris's maps because I love the way they are. It just I'm the way. Try put, uh, uh, this I'm try it. Yeah, if we could, I would love to have hey this one, this map here, Hayfield and Spring Hill, all in one big map. That would be absolutely sick. What well, Chris edit? Yeah, Chris's edit, like all three, like. I think I have that. Do you have it? I had it. I did have it for seventeen. Then I think I either deleted it or I broke it and deleted it. I'll send it if you want. I don't know. I'd love to try and get the two. Even if we had Hayfield and this one together, that that would be amazing. <laughs> Both with seasons, because then we could have. If we had three farms, it would work out alright, because then we could have... We could pretty much do it how we had, like, someone just ran one section, you know. It would be quite cool. We the two farms together, and a few fields in between, like... We put them a bit apart and have some fields in between, and make, like, a third one in the middle of a small yard. Yeah, it'd be a fairly sized map then, like, because there's only eight... There's only nine fields... Is it eight or nine on? Hayfield. I think it's eight. And then there's only nine on this one. No, sorry, there's ten on this one. The only thing is, though, this is a circular road. There's pretty much fields all around, far in one corner, so it's pretty much only one place to connect them together, unless you want to cut it out. You have to cut it out on that top corner, up at the top of the hill, where there's no fields on the far side. Yeah, or... Or just extend the village. So, you know where it corners like before you hit the first corner yeah. just make it go straight and meet the two like that it'd be quite a good I'd, we'd have to see how well we could get it to go because I, I don't want it to be like a rush job I'd want it yeah proper and you'd move the, you'd move the shop into the middle of the two in that and then you'd put where the shops are as like another field or something yeah. Well, Ross did what? Ross did it so he could give you some tips on. Yeah, Ross did it for. He did Thornton, didn't he? He did no, Thornton. Um, Spring Hill and. Uh, yeah, Spring Hill and Thornton. Thornton and, and, uh, and Smithfield. Smithfield. No, he added three Scotland together. Well. I, I, I remember him telling me about it. Hmm. So. so yeah, that we could if we can get that to work, that'd be great. If we can't, then oh well. Can't have everything. Right, almost finished this field. So, 400 litres does pretty much do this field. In So, you haven't got to refill. Um, so, yeah, the next the last person to join is Joe. So, we're just when he's back from his friends. Um, or his cousin, sorry. And then I'm not sure what we're going to be doing then. Because we need... I, I reckon Joe will either be... One of us will be stood around with four of us, you know. Probably. Not when it comes to No, no, when it comes to all the other stuff. James lovely BRBs. To be honest, we could do with a third plow and then, because a third plow would allow cultivator to keep going instead of the stuff. 
Yeah. Or even if somebody started sitting behind the cockpit. Hmm. I've got a refill because that was almost 50% of this time. So. Right, there we go. So, thank you everybody for watching. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed. Subscribe more today. Happy farming. Follow me on Snap. Well, add me on Snapchat. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Facebook. Join, join our Discord. Add me on Discord if you want to. And yeah, happy farming and goodbye.